Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to fix Midtown Madness to work on a modern Windows operating system like Windows 10, Windows 7, 8.1 etc. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So unlike any other game, Midtown Madness has a different story. In this game, the DirectX renderer will be corrupted if you use a modern operating system like Windows 10, Windows 7 etc. So in this case, we have to update the game and also have to make a lot of other changes which I will be showing as we progress in the video. So first of all, we will be installing the game on our hard drive by executing the setup exe. Welcome to Microsoft Midtown Madness, Chicago edition. We will be installing the game at C drive because if I try to change the directory by clicking on browse, the setup may crash as I have noticed earlier on my Windows 10 PC. I think this did not occur in Windows XP as far as I remember. So we'll be doing a complete installation. Uh, okay, we want a shortcut. We will now exit the setup. Now if we try to run the game directly, you will get a uh, access denied error. This is because of the copy protection that is used in this game which is probably the safe disk copy protection which is not supported by windows 10 so here we will be updating the game to the latest version i will provide the link for the update in the description so here they say that the direct play components are old would you like to update them to version 6.1a if you click on yes there will be no changes because we are using a updated version of DirectX in Windows 10. So our updating is complete and still you will not be able to play the game. So here you have to use a no CD crack if you want to play the game otherwise the game won't run anyway. So let's paste the crack and see what happens. I think we are running the game. Yes, it is running here. So let's quit it. Now let's try again. So here they say click OK to have Midtown Madness detect the presence of a hardware accelerator card. This may take a few seconds. Click OK. So they said that no suitable video words found. Application cannot run. So in this case, the application may or may not find a suitable DirectX renderer in your PC. It depends on the luck. Sometimes it will find and sometimes it won't. So in that case, we have to use uh, DigiVoodoo in order to run the game. So we'll be quitting the game from the task manager again. Okay, that means we'll be having the same problem every time we run the game. Okay, so we'll be using DigiVoodoo now. Since the game uses DirectX 6, you will be needing the D3D, IMM and DDraw DLL. And also if you want, you can use the control panel. You have to run the control panel as administrator if you install the game on C drive. Okay, now we will be setting some setting, uh, we will be changing some settings here. I will be untaking this option. And I I will change the graphics card to GeForce 4 Ti. Now I'll click on the redact video option and click OK again. So in this case, the game again says no suitable video words found. Application cannot run. So here, what you have to do is you have to change the name of the executable from Midtown when um, Midtown EXE to Midtown Madness .exe. And immediately you will see that the game icon has changed. So now we'll try again. So the game is running.
so earlier when i was talking about the uh, about the graphics problems in this game i wanted to mean that if you go to the options menu and go to the graphics options you will see that the that the options here are all in italics and you cannot read any option it will all be in software rendered mode and you cannot read any of the option so that's why we updated the patch and we edited the name of the executable so now we'll be running the game with dj voodoo So you'll see that the game is very laggy. So if you want to fix that, we have to run the game at a lower setting. Okay, so we'll be changing some settings again. We'll be changing the card to virtual 3D accelerated card. We'll be changing the VRAM to 16 megabytes. If that doesn't help, we'll be changing the graphics settings. Okay, so let's we set uh, so let's set everything to low. The game also has problems with DJ Voodoo, so there is no other option you can have. I think the game is not playable. Sorry for my bad gameplay. Okay, before we continue this video, let's check the statistics of the game with MSI Afterburner. And also let me see if I am running any background task. Okay, Chrome was running, so that might be a problem. So let's try again. We can we will also be seeing the FPS now in the top left corner. Unfortunately MSI afterburner did not start, so we'll try again. Sorry. Okay, let's do a race first.
we are still seeing some starters in the game So I think the game is running much more better now. So let's try what happens if we change the resolution with Rejivodu. Okay, I'll be changing the VRAM to uh, 512 megabytes. Sorry. I think I did not run the program as administrator, so let's try again. Okay, it's running. So this is how we run Midtown Madness on a modern operating system. So other than this game, there are many other games which rely on this fix of editing the executable file. For example, some days ago I was working on the game Soldier of Fortune and I found that if you copy the executable file which is sof.exe and paste it in the same directory but by a different name moh.exe, moha.exe and if you run the game by the new executable file then the game will run but you have to keep the ex old executable as well as the new copied executable in the same directory and run the new executable so that the game runs so this fix might be useful in many other games too like it was applicable in Midnight Madness and in Soldier of Fortune so I would like to end the video guys here thanks for watching the video if you really like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If any of your friend has problems with this game, you should share this video with them. And I will see you soon in the next video.